So I'm like my brothers, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I am doing really well. This video is about carbohydrates. We, I get a lot of questions about carbs. This is probably the most misunderstood macronutrient uh, there is. People are fairly uh, clued in when it comes to protein. Protein is used by the body for your hair, muscle, tissue, snail, skin, everything. So uh, basically everything comprises of protein. So you need protein to build everything. So protein is the building block for your muscles, for, for your body. Fat is also required for certain bodily functions such as uh, keeping your testosterone levels up. Uh, and then we have carbs. Carbs are basically fuel. That's what it is. Fuel. Carbs are simply fuel. So what you should do when you're devising your diet is to have the right amount of carbs for how much fuel you need for that day. If you have, uh, if you spend excessive amounts of energy, if you have a, a, a job where you got to run around all day long, you need to take in more carbs. If you're like me, you sit, or, you know, sit at the desk, I'm an IT guy, uh, sitting in front of my laptop all day long, you don't need that many carbs. You have to minimize your carbs. Now, if you go online, you will notice there is, there's going to be people advocating 40% of your daily intake should be carbs. 50% of your daily intake should be carbs. Some even say 60% or, you know, that's a, that's a big amount. Now, if you look at my previous videos, my diet recommendations, you'll notice that my carbs are actually very low. I only take carbs uh, in meal one. And then if I'm weight training in uh, my post-workout meal. That's it. That's my only carbs. And when it comes to carbs, let me simplify it a little bit further. There's the starchy carbs and the fibrous carbs. Fibrous carbs are all the vegetables. Starchy carbs are the heavier carbs, which are your grains, uh, your pasta, flour, breads, potatoes, stuff like that. So when I, when I say you need to minimize, I, I'm talking about minimizing your starchy carbs, not your fibrous carbs. Fibrous carbs, you can eat them all day long, not a problem. So why is there such a discrepancy between what people are recommending, uh, the amount of starchy carbs you should eat? Well, first and foremost, you should look at the person who's giving you the advice. What kind of body type does he have? Now this goes back to my other video where it says selecting a diet according to your body types. If you notice the people that are giving advice saying that carbs are really good and that you should have a high amount of carbs, half your carbs for your daily caloric intake should come from carbs, you'll notice that they have a, a, an ectomorphic body type. They're skinny, they're thinner. Their concern is putting on muscle. Their concern is they want fuel. For an ectomorph, yeah, you want, carbs are his best friends. He should have carbs in all five of his meals. I agree with that 100% because their body is very efficient. Their body, their metabolisms are really, really quick. They're burning through everything. So they want more fuel. They want more energy so they can work out more. Yes, I agree. Now for an endomorph, I'm an endomorph. So if you're an endomorph, you're the type of person who has a problem keeping the weight off. If you've been chubby or fat all your life, chances are you're an endomorph. So if you're an endomorph, be careful. Do not follow the advice of people saying that you should take 40% of your total, total caloric intake from carbs because you're just gonna gain weight. Your body is not as efficient. Your metabolism is a little slower. So you have to minimize your carbs. Be careful with your carbs, your starchy carbs. You have to bring them down. You have, my recommendation is uh, a ballpark figure would be 100 grams of carb, of starchy carbs a day. Start with that. See how, how your body reacts to that. If you feel that you're still gaining weight, you'll have to decrease it a little bit more. Then you might want to do a high carb day and a low carb day. So maybe 100 grams on one day, preferably the days you weight train, and maybe 50 grams on the days you don't work out. So you have a high carb day, low carb day. Now what you're doing is your carb cycling. This is very effective especially for endomorphs, types, uh, body types like mine. So you can do the carb cycling. If you, once again, if you're an ectomorph, you can have carbs all your meals. Endomorph, be careful with your carbs. Also, let me mention here, if you don't know, one gram of carb is equal to four calories. One gram of protein is equal to four calories also. One gram of fat is equal to nine calories. So this is one of the reasons I restrict the fat 
in my diet, or a lot of people do anyway, they restrict the fat because it's just much more caloric than the other two macronutrients. So you definitely don't want a high fat diet because your calorie count will go too high. Uh, protein is used by the body. Protein isn't broken down the same way uh, carbs are broken down. The body has a hard time breaking down protein. So a high protein diet means your body has to work more. It works, to, the metabolism has to work much harder breaking down a protein than it does to break down a carb. So a high protein diet burns more calories when you're consuming protein or, or a greater percentage of protein. High carb diet, carbs are broken down quicker. Carbs are the preferred fuel source for the body. This is what it wants actually. It's the preferred macronutrient. This is what it uses for fuel. So if you have a, hard, a high carb diet, it breaks down carbs quicker than breaking down the protein. So if you have, so the metabolism doesn't work as hard and uh, you end up gaining weight if you're not burning it off because it gets stored in your storage tank, in your uh, glycogen levels. Your glycogen levels increase. So endomorphs, be careful. Don't have too many carbs. Restrict your carbs. If you are going to have carbs, have them in meal one and post-workout. That's the best time you can have your carbs and do carb cycling. I hope this clarifies a little bit more why you see so such a different variation between the recommendations of specifically carbs. Uh, this it, It's because of the body type. So you look at the body type and you'll figure it out. Okay, I hope this was informative. Thanks. Give me some feedback. Let me know. Uh, maybe I just made you more confused. I hope not. I hope I clarified it a little bit. Yeah, they're still there. I, I need I need to check from time to time to make sure the guns are still there. All right. Thanks for watching.